Hey guys, and welcome to Modern's Corner. Today I will talk about how to record ClickLearn Attain with ClickLearn and how to record ClickLearn Classic with ClickLearn. The reason I included Classic is because perhaps you are going to be migrating from Classic to Attain and uh, you might find it useful to, uh, to record some, some parts there that you want your, uh, your authors to do. So uh, let's pop right in. So in Attain, the way you want to be doing this is uh, you, there's a shortcut key called Control Shift R. I'm always using the left Control Shift. So hold down Control Shift and click R. And this will start a uh, click learn how to recording, as you see here. Click on OK and wait a little bit. And there we go. So, for example, I'm going to be clicking on recordings here and let's call that it so i'm going to hold the two control keys and that will install the recorder i'm going to save this and it will tell you uh, that it's stored in the click learns um click learns cache folder here this is where the program settings are stored and stuff like that and let's go ahead and bring that up so let's go here Go to click learn and then you will see your recording here. So this ID is actually the recording ID. Um, this is written inside each click learn file. So that's a unique ID for the recording. Let's go ahead and drag that into a team. And it will be too long. It has to be less than 32 characters. So let's go ahead and rename it. I'm gonna say how to uh how to recording how to record things like that let's see should be short enough there we are here's our recording and of course uh, i can use the metadata field here to add another title right so i can give it a uh, an appropriate long title that makes sense for people who is going to be finding this amongst hundreds of recordings uh, if that is uh, if that is what i'm going for so that's how you do it in uh, in a team. let's also just have a look at classic okay so let's open up classic here So in classic, the approach is a little bit different. You hold down shift. Uh, I always use the left shift to do this. So hold down left shift and then click on this little arrow here. That will enable these two extra options. Um, I'm gonna click, click on how to, and I'm just gonna wait. And there it is. So now I can record the how to. I'm gonna click on tools and that's it for me. So I'm going to hold down the left control shift. Okay. While holding down the left control shift, I'm going to be moving the mouse up to the left top left hand corner of the screen and that will then stop the recording and it will ask me where I want to save it. So I'm just going to save it here and I'm going to call it how to access tools. So there we go. Now I have my recording. When I do the stopping of the recording, holding down control shift and moving the mouse, it's going to record that mouse move. Uh, that's a building control. So you will want to delete that step. Always delete the last step. And there we go. Now it tells me how to click on tools. Um, so, so yeah, that is, uh, that is it. That's how you can record, uh, click learn, click learn. So for, uh, tips and tricks, um, I would recommend uh, that you only record what you need to. Yeah. 
So there is no need to spend time recording a bunch of recordings uh, if it's not something you specifically specifically need to do. Um, and always, of course, identify what you need and give them an appropriate name uh, so that it makes sense to people and that they can find it. Same goes for classic. Uh, the naming, um, of course, uh, it goes without saying, but here you can have longer file names, of course. Um, but again, only record it if you need to. The typical scenarios where I see it used is that sometimes uh, people would like documentation in their own language for how to use ClickLearn. And currently we only have it in English, right? Um, so maybe they want, they want some specific instructions on how to use uh, ClickLearn in their own language, like Spanish or, uh, or Norwegian or whatever. And um, you could also, for example, in a team argue that uh, you would want people to use the projects in a certain way and you would want to record how you were going to be working with ClickLearn within your organization, for example. That's, uh, that's another way you can, uh, you can go about it. But yeah, that's, uh, that is pretty much it for the best practices. So yeah, all I can say is uh, thank you very much for watching and uh, hope uh, that you uh, found this helpful. And uh, please let me know on the community if, uh, if you have any questions in this regard, yeah? Have a good one.